Wild Talents by Charles Hoyfort, Chapter 10G. What I need to keep me somewhat happy and to some degree interested in my work is opposition. If lofty and academic, so much the better. If sanctified, I'm in great luck. I suspect that it may be regrettable, but though I am much of a builder, I can't be somewhat happy as a writer unless also I'm mulling something. Most likely this is the werewolf in my composition. But the science of physics, which, at one time, was thought forever to have disposed of werewolves, vampires, witches, and other pets of mine, is today such an attempted systemization of the principles of magic, that I am at a loss for eminent professors to be disagreeable to. Upon the principles of quantum mechanics, one can make reasonable almost any miracle, such as entering a closed room without penetrating a wall, or jumping from one place to another without traversing the space between. The only reason the exponents of ultra-modern mechanics are taken more solemnly than I am is that the reader does not have to pretend that he knows what I am writing about. There are alarmed scientists who try to confine their ideas of magic to the actions of electronic particles or waves, but in the Physical Review, April 1931, were published letters from Professor Einstein, Professor Richard Chase Tolman, and Dr. Boris Podolsky that indicate that this refinement cannot be maintained. Professor Einstein applies the principle of uncertainty not only to atomic affairs, but to such occurrences as the opening and shutting of the shutter on a camera. There can be no science, or pretended science, except upon the basis of ideal certainty. Anything else is to some degree guesswork. As a guesser, I'll not admit my inferiority to any scientist, imbecile, or rabbit. The position today of what is said to be the science of physics is so desperate and so confused that its exponents are trying to incorporate into one system both former principles and the denial of them. Even in the anemia and frazzle of religion, today there is no worse state of desperation or decomposition. The attempt to take the principle of uncertainty or the principle of unprincipledness into science is about the same as would be an attempt by theologians to preach the word of God and also include a theism in their doctrines. As an intermediatist, I find the principle of uncertainty unsatisfactorily expressed. My own expressions are upon the principled and principled rule misrule of our pseudo-existence by certainty, uncertainty. Or, whereas it seems unquestionable that no man has ever been transformed into a hyena, we can be no more than sure and sure about this.